kuhusu kwanza mambo za chanjo ambayo kwamba ni muhimu inaanzia kwa mama akiwa mjamzito hadi akija kujifungua kuna mambo kuna chanjo ambazo kwamba mtoto anahitajika kufanyiwa na madaktari inahitajika mama ampeleke mtoto wake hospitali apewe chanjo ya polio measles ukambi hizi zote afate vile madaktari wanavyotaka na watakavyo muelimisha kuna sintofahamu kuhusu viongozi wa dini kuna wengine wanafikiria hizi chanjo zinaweza kuwadhuru watoto sisi tulidungwa chanjo za tetanus wakati huo na sahi tuko na watoto pili tunaomba hii kuwa na willingness political willingness kwa hii community health service ambao kwamba tunajua katika hii kaunti yetu tuko na wale CHVs wako moja, mia moja. na msaada huu uko kwa bunge letu la kaunti ya Laikipia ma MCA wetu wako tayari kuupitisha kwa sababu hawa ni wale watu wanaosaidia jamii huko mashinani mama akiwa na mjauzito akitaka kujifungua wanamkimbiza haraka iwezekanavyo hospitali kuliko ajifungulie nyumbani za kushughulikia matakwa ma ya CHVs ni kwa sababu wakati ambapo tuko pale ground wa mama ndio wanaumia sana na tungependa wa mama waangaliwe na njia hiyo ya chanjo especially maternal health and immunization hiyo kabisa inahusu wa mama kwa hivyo tungependa hiyo bill ikaweza kupitishwa na tungependa ile political goodwill ya kutoka upande zote mbili upande wa serikali na upande wa assembly kitu hicho kingine ambacho tungeomba ni kwamba tungeomba serikali ishirikiane pamoja na madhehebu ili tukaweza kufikisha ujube huu wa chanjo ya watoto ni kwa sababu katika makanisa yetu huko tuna watu aina tofauti tuko na wale watu ambao ni wale mavu tuko na watu ambao ni youth tuko na watoto na tuko na wamama na wakati ambapo tunasema mambo ya wamama tunaona ya kwamba mama na mtoto wako pamoja na wakati wamekosa kupitisha hiyo bill inatuaffect sisi wa mama na inatua, ina affect watoto wetu until our religious leaders who are opposed to this vaccine that uh, uh, it is very important it is preventive to our children and especially our girls so that they will not be affect, uh, uh, affected by this cancer cervical cancer I also want to ask that they don't see it as something that is uh, destructive. It is good for us to understand that uh, it is that this knowledge about vaccine has been given by God, and therefore it is not good to uh, oppose that which God has given to His people, the knowledge and uh, understanding about uh, this vaccine. So we want to talk to them. We want to pray that they, they will not uh, stand against their girls to be vaccinated. Let them come out. Let them come out and help. There are many areas that we have partnered with the government and we want the government to do for us. And therefore, we ask them to take it seriously. Especially on the issue of health, we are aware that there is a bill that has been formulated, the Laikipia County Health Bill, that is supposed to stand and to help the community health workers. We are aware that in this county, there is about 1,100 uh, community health workers. And we know that the, the, the MCAs are ready to pass that bill so that those uh, count, uh, M, uh, CHWs are able to meet uh, the needs of the health in the, in the community and especially uh, issues that are affecting our people on the ground. I have seen that there are many people who are living in the world who are living in the world. And I have said that the people who are living in the world are living in the world. And I have said that the people who are living in the world are living in the world ndio wajue wenye wanaweza tuia wale wengine na kwa hivyo sana sana tunahimiza especially wale watoto wadogo wachana wapeleke kwa chanjo hii ya HPV kwa sababu tunajua cervical cancer inaua na kwa hivyo ni mzuri sana kama mama wenye wako laikipia wanaweza sikia hiyo ujumbe na wapeleke watoto wao chanjo wale wenye wanapinga hiyo chanjo tunataka kusema si mzuri e, na hao ndio wanapotosha wale wengine ni mzuri waangalie wa sana hiyo maneno na mzee wale wanachunga na kwamba ni muhimu waendee chanjo. Sababu la ekipi ya tunajua kuna sheria yenye nafaa kuangalia wale watu wanayenye wanatuhudumia katika uh, huko mashinani. Wale wanaitwa community health volunteers. Najua sahi kuna 1100 wenye wanatuhudumia hapa la ekipi ya. 
ile kazi kidogo wanafanya kazi mingi wanafanya especially wakati wa covid nasikia watu wale wengi wanatidua nyumbani lakini wanatidua nyumbani na hao watu wanaitwa community health volunteers ni baa kusikia kwamba hao watu wanatutibu tu na wanatusaidia lakini hakuna kitu wanapataa 